is this enjoyable to listen to? Yes. And that's really all there is to say, right? Hello there, maggots. It's Lauren here. How's it going today? It's finally time for part four of this The End So Far album review. At the end of this video, I'm going to, um, to talk about the album as a whole. I'm pretty sure in the last video I told you that I liked um, Heirloom more than Medicine for the Dead. I take it back. I really like Medicine for the Dead. That's really an album standout to me. Oh, I figured out who Greg was. Sorry for the confusion. Greg is a producer, I think you guys said. I just figured since it had every member of Slipknot except for Tortilla Man, I figured that was Tortilla Man. So thank you for clarifying. I'm just, I think this is hell. That's what I'm thinking. Let's hope it doesn't sound like hell. The best of Sid. Okay, here we go. watching this Sid video. I really like these long intros. A standout. This is like reminding me of some old school kind of Slipknot. Yeah, the real punchy guitars. It's got like rapping Corey going on. We have classic Sid, uh, maggot moment to start us off. This is feeling much more Slipknot than some of these other tracks. This is cool. This is just reminding me of some old school. What do people say about this? See, there's that comment. Best song on the album for me. I told you. You're going to get that. I bet you you could find that comment in every single song for the album. I think we can all agree this is the best song on the album. I don't know yet. I'm not saying that, but I do like the sound of this one. Gotta have a Corey laugh somewhere in the album. The war was in my head, my head was in the ground, the ground was all decayed. Okay, those lyrics were almost comical, I'm sorry. It was reminding me of like some kids, I mean not what he's saying, but the idea of it. It reminds me of some kids song or a kids book. Like this is in this and this is in this and this is in this. I was a sign, the sign was in the eyes, the eyes were in the skull, the skull was in the wall, the wall was in my head, my head was in the ground. It's like the woman who ate the fly or something. Is that the one that does that? It sort of builds on the woman who ate the fly. Do you know what I'm saying? I gotta look this up. I know an old lady who swallowed a fly. You guys know what that is? She swallowed the cow to catch the goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch a bird. <laughs> That's what that reminded me of. So what's strange is like when it first started, I was thinking this was kind of old school Slipknot, but now that I'm listening to it more, I think it sounds more like We Are Not Your Kind Slipknot. I think this would fit on that album. I know the Reaper is a liar. I like it as a whole, but those lyrics I'm not crazy about. <laughs> I love this sort of, this kind of stuff that they're doing. So when I hear it all together, I think that will be very cool. That's a standout, I would say. It's very Slipknot sounding because I know like Heirloom, for example, was not very Slipknot sounding, but this one is just like, that's your quintessential Slipknot sound. Next one, here we go. This is another one that people were anxious for me to hear. Is this the one with Jay on it? There's Jay. Time for a Jay montage. What do you think of Jay's new mask with the weird mouth? How do you feel about that? So these long intros, I really like them. I 
This is uh, Corey freaking Taylor being romantic. Eat my heart and twist me into knots. Happy Valentine's Day. That's much less intense than Yen. You know, breathing for me and all that stuff. When I edit these videos, I'm realizing that my new word is fantastic. I say it like 10 million times a video. So I'm tr I gotta get a new word because it's really getting on my nerves. <laughs> like if you say fantastic one more time. But Corey freaking Taylor sounds phenomenal let's say he sounds phenomenal just the vocal on this album is just like you have to mention it like it, it has to be noted because he is just like giving it everything I don't have that instant it's like some of them I just instantly like this one I don't instantly like I don't dislike it but I I don't have the same reaction to it that I did with the previous song for example but he sounds phenomenal that's going to be the new word. Phenomenal. Like I've been saying, I really like these long intros. I think they should keep that up because uh, I think they're really cool. I need to hear a little more of this, I think. That's where the spike was. And if I had to guess, it makes sense. Let me see what people say about this. It's funny because a lot of the comments are not about this particular song. They're always just about Slipknot in general, the album in general. I did not like this song the first time hearing it. Now it's stuck in my head. I truly love it. My favorite song on the album. There you go. See, you're going to get it. Every song you're going to hear that. Definitely on the fence with this one. Definitely. This one is probably up there with uh, Adderall as far as being confused by, <laughs> like trying to figure out if I like it. Yeah, what do you think of this one? This is, uh, this is definitely a title that I remember seeing like for a year, I guess now. I gotta turn my brightness up. The sun went down. So yeah, this one I'm gonna have to listen to a little bit, a few times. And then I'll get back to you. I'm really on the fence with this one. Like, really. Like, I'm perched comfortably on the fence. So let's do the last song. It's the last one, right? We got Clown Guy looking at me. Is this the last one? Yes, finale. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, Magus, we've reached the end. It's the finale. The Clown Guy video. This is very nice. Now it's a shame, but I gotta stay, cause I like it here. I know it's a shame, but I gotta stay. This one, instantly on board with. It's funny how that works. Like the last one, I'm just like totally not sure. This one, absolutely. Strings, yes. Melodic Corey, yes. It's just funny hearing this song and watching clown guy like banging a keg and stuff it's just like like what the sentiment the sad things i keep repeating older answers the questions are all brand new the mask ladies Welcome back, Mask Ladies. Yeah, I really like this. I mean, I don't know how you could not like this. I think this is the perfect way to end the album. Yeah, I just, I'm a big fan. And again, I have to say, Corey freaking Taylor. Dear God. His vocals are just stellar. He just has such a cool voice. But that's not that. I 
I just have to say before I forget. Ah. <laughs> Oh my god, that was perfect. I swear to you that was not planned. That was just a natural Slipknot reference. An accidental Slipknot reference. I'm very proud of myself. I remember saying in one music video that I did that it seems like Clown Guy always has the last shot of the video. And I don't know if that is accurate. I would have to look at all their videos and see. Devil and I comes to mind and Kill Pop comes to mind and maybe sulfur where it's just sort of like a duality duality like he just has like a big keg hit and then the song is over the video is over they're done and so i just find it uh fitting that clown guy is the video for the final song on the album it's just like sticking with tradition love now is that pinhead or is that tortilla man? get it mask ladies So musically, this is the top. I would say absolutely at the top, beating every other song on the album musically. Because even though I listen to heavy stuff, or I do a lot of heavy stuff on the channel, this is like, I love. Just musically, this has got to be number one. I'm looking forward to doing the whole album, to listening to the whole album start to finish. If I had to rank the three I heard today, this one... The first one is number two, and the second one is number three. And if that was confusing, here you go. <laughs> this is my ranking just of these three today, right now. Stay tuned for my full album review coming at you right now. Hey there, maggots. It's been, I don't know, two or three weeks, I think, since the first part of this video. I wanted to give you just a brief review of the whole album, including how I would rank these songs least favorite to favorite, which I'm actually going to give some more thought, but I wanted to get this video out. But I will show them here how I would rank these. I would have to say as a whole, I really enjoy this album. I think it has some classic Slipknot sounds. It has some experimental Slipknot sound, like everything in between. <laughs> what I really like about the album, some of the longer intros, like Medicine for the Dead comes to mind, is having that like super long intro. I think they need to do some more of that. Kind of like Orphan had a big intro. I probably mentioned that um, in another video, but I think Corey sounds just better than ever. The melodic stuff in here is just like so amazing. It's just, uh, such a standout. The melodic Corey stuff on this album is such a standout. It's probably my favorite part of the album. The vocal in um, Acidic comes to mind. Medicine for the Dead also. That one part in Yen, this part. The, la the final song, Finale, that one had some, uh, some standout melodic Corey going on. And the strings also, Mocha's here. Just land in my coffee. Here, cheers. Cheers to you, maggots. Treating the album as its own thing, which you should do, I would rate it very high. If I'm ranking the album as far as like being a Slipknot album like days of old, then I probably wouldn't rank it as high. But just, is this enjoyable to listen to? Yes. And that's really all there is to say, right? Most of you are, have already told me how you feel about this album, but if you would also like to rank the songs, that might be a little challenge for you if you're up for it. You can share your ranking below, see uh, how the other maggots feel. But I did really enjoy the album, much more than some of you did, I would say. Where the music will go from here, I'm not sure. That would do it for the end so far. It's the end of the end so far. So Mocha and I are going to go. Mega Maggots, special shout out to you. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you for the next one. It is finally time for part four of this. It's the end. So, let me get a track list. I'm not ready at all. I don't know why I turned the camera on. Not at all prepared. I'm assuming this is like hell. Is it supposed to be hell? Like, remember when you were in middle school, probably. 
and you would like write things in the calculator and then turn it upside down. Was that just the people in my class? Because that was just like the biggest thing was to write like boobs in the calculator. And it, no, I hope someone knows what I'm talking about because that was just like, oh my God, the boys in the class, it was just like the best thing they'd ever discovered. Wait, wait, wait. Jay's like, I'm ready right now. Oh, there's a spike here. There's a spike in this one. We lost Angry Maynard. He just fell down. Angry Maynard is like, are you ever going to be done this album? It's time for me. There you go. Now he's more prominent than before. Take that. Take that, Maynard. Relax. Because I had a hard time with Adderall the first time hearing it. <laughs> first time hearing it. Talk about... <laughs> I, I don't know. This man. I just can't. So look for that in a few days. I mean, actually, it's going to be in the next few seconds. But for me, it will be in the next few days. I'm going to do that. That will do it for this album. So now I can quit hearing about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I understand. Enjoy the rest of your day.